Okay, I think we're live now. Looks like my token had expired. Restream IO. Is this yes, we are live. All right. go to my own Twitter page and retweet my own tweet. Okay. Sorry about that. Big apologies to everyone. Okay, so I started the first uh, chapter. I can, you know, load... I'll just go back load here. So we don't we don't lose anything. I only had done you know ten ma minutes maybe. Okay, so this is kind of the, the the framing. We have the books. The books are the stories. So I'm gonna read them. This is Mercedes' story. So okay, we will listen to. Uh, Princess Mercedes, we have so many injured that we have run out of sick beds and medicine. What shall we do? Well, um, uh, uh, uh. Let us open the Southern Imperial Villa and house the wounded there. I shall notify our mages to increase healing potion production. Princess Mercedes, I hope this is adequate. Uh, oh, yes. Hey, BP. So, right, this is Mercedes. Um, she is a fairy princess. Uh, her mom just got... Well, our, our, okay, our, our country just got punked by... Um, I did not accidentally all the progress. I only made about 10 minutes of progress. And Restreamio wouldn't let me... I had to re-log in, and it just wouldn't tell me that. So you must be Melvin's Shadow Knight. This is the start of Mercedes' story. I'm not feeling well. Knowing that the Demon Lord is on his way here makes me nervous. Do you think that girl can fulfill her duties as queen in these times of strife? Her cousin Damn. Melvin is quite dependable. He ought to take her place. Melvin, huh? Your Majesty, I'm extremely unhappy. In the past, the former queen battled with the dwarves for the cauldron. When we were defeated, we left our forges and became Lilipats. Lilliputs. But the dwarves who escaped the fairies joined forces with the Demon Lord and made more weapons to hurt us. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, well. Just let me know if there's anything you need. So, Puka, as we know, collecting the coins. Uh, we're poor as hell, so we can't buy anything other than a seed, which I'm not going to do. Uh, and all of our items are now not here, soon has to say. This horseman. Your Majesty, I swear by my horn. I will fight to the end for Queen Elfari. Romulus Augustus. Yeah, so Mercedes is in a pretty awful situation. Her mom died. Uh, Odin's ready to beat down the door. And uh, her cousin may be taken over. We'll see. So okay, let's let's figure out what's going on here. So you see, her little icon is is the uh, it's the cross. It has not been long since you lost your mother. Perhaps you need a vacation. But Melvin, I'm. Allow me to handle the governmental affairs. The people will be fine. Are you suggesting that the Queen is a burden? Absolutely not. Smarmy look on his face. Melvin, the Chief Armorer would like to discuss something with you. I'll see him immediately. Excuse me, I must be on my way. You're excused. So he's controlling the armed forces as he wishes. He's our, he's our cousin, by the way. Just his mother said. I cannot do anything. Queen Mercedes, please control yourself. 
There's something strange in the air here. Melvin is acting highly suspiciously. His heart burns with ambition, and he seems to be making some kind of plan. He's not showing anything on the surface, but we can't let this continue. Let us speak with the sorcerer who served Queen Elfaria. The famous sorcerer Beldor, who enslaves a dragon and sees the netherworld. Mm. It is better to have a dependable expert on our side. Perhaps. I doubt he will cause a rebellion within the land, but who can say? If the country collapses after Queen Alfaria's death, the Demon Lord truly wins. Truly. I have heard that Beldor has retreated to a place in the forest. If Queen Mercedes should visit him in the forest, he should be honored to help. So, yeah, Mercedes is... You know, it's not her fault. I think it's it's reasonable for you know advisors maybe to uh, help out the you know child ruler, but you know Melvin seems to be advocating that we basically do nothing, which you know. Okay, so Mercedes, as we discussed, she is um, a little different. Uses her uh, you know crossbow. I think it's called like an. The game, I think, identifies it as like an arbalist. But so I that pal meter now is my um, ammo. So there we are. A because I got hit stupidly, just like I did last time. Okay. So yeah, I mean. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm waiting a little bit. If you wait until the the gem flashes again, then you get a large shot that pierces, which is extremely good. Mercedes, as I mentioned before, can fly, so here I'm flying. Kind of helpful. I think this is the B stage. Yeah, this is the, you know, Bs. The downside is you don't recover any um, POW when you're flying like this. So, normally, um, you know, standing around you recover POW, but you have to be touching the ground to do that, which is how they kind of balanced uh, Mercedes. Made her not, you know, god mode. She also seems to have a little lower um, health and everything than the other characters do. There, that should be everything. Okay. Yeah, we have the, the, the superior orbments now. And here we're getting one of my favorite skills. It's a very good skill. Uh, it is called, it's a big shot or something. Round shot. So you fire a huge fucking shot. It's like a shotgun, basically. So I'm going to upgrade my cypher. This is kind of the core skill that largely governs your attack. Um, very useful, but expensive. You want to balance that with the actual skills. So now let me um, equip the skill to there. All right. Picking up some money. Let's go actually south and get this, um, this thing first. It's a good thing. Yeah, mid, mid boss stage. Yeah, so there's my um, ability. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna make use of um, my potions because they're pretty good. Ah, shoot. So she has a bit of like lead time before she can do some of her. Uh, Abilities. But killing these guys is good because it lets you get. Um... So the PP I only get back by, um, you know, making funny jokes, but also by uh, absorbing phosons, which are the things from uh, enemies. There. He's dead. No, no need to back. 
we've killed him. So we've got some equipment. I kind of didn't show this off and much, but... So this gives me damage dealt and taken up 10% and some defense. Defense is much needed. I'm also going to um, spend on my skill here. Cause this, this, so this gives me, you know, extra attack, more maximum PP, and increases the, the knockback. <laughs> yeah, no backing. The, no backs. No, no, no backsies. So there's our, our, our teleport area. There's another eating plant, Alurane. I try to turn around to kill those little bees. Yeah, we don't want to get charmed. Alright. Definitely need to... play this safe. Mercedes is just a different character, so she, she, she's very she's physically weak. So you have to be a, a lot more careful about how you kind of play as her. You can't just go striding into the fields of battle. So. There, we got our S rank though. Yeah, so I, I get a few nice dodges then. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little better at dodging. But thank you, thank you, BP. That's very, it's very polite. Very friendly of you. Okay. So, we need to be gathering all of the loot. And flying around like a good fairy. That's another piece of, of equipment. Which is glorious equipment. Star Pendant, so this is max HP and damage taken. No, so you can see each one, this is just max HP 10%. But you also get death, defense, um, which is, is very good. We would like defense. So since our, our, our you know, PP is still pretty valuable, I'm going to try to resist spending it just willy-nilly. This is not back, this is... Oh, I guess it is. Okay. So we have a material in the next area. You'll be happy to know this is a different path than I took. Um, so that's one of the big bears. There we go, bear killing. It's bear season, boys. So we're picking up some some money, some cash money. So we could already go to the boss. It's right there, but we're gonna fully explore because we need to uh, get power. Our power is lacking. Onion. Okay. Kind of a barren area. No bears there. That would might have been a funny joke. Oh! Secret area, I guess. Or this was on the map and I just didn't see it. Cool. Foes on Prism. Which one is this one? Foes on burst, huh? By bursting the Cypher's energy. So that's a knockback. That seems pretty good. I'm going to buy um, another rank of this, though.
and I'm gonna buy the speed flight the little movement speed bonus always good so can't buy anything else for now get some money but that's cool I didn't realize that there were uh, hidden areas I have to be on the lookout for those probably missed some in the past two chapters so here's what I'll do I'll teleport after going here oh so Mercedes is also a little different in, in how she turns around because you, you, you tend to stay one direction when you're flying I figured you know I should rather than just killing the bees non-stop as interesting as that is I will just destroy their their home So if you're really a boring person, you can just grind a lot of uh, cipher levels here. Bosons, I should say. I think. Don't see any reason why you wouldn't. They probably might stop spawning at a certain point. Okay, so here we're going to plant some seeds. I think this is an 11, so... There, I wanted to make sure I didn't go to the other. And we have our, our good old Maury's Touring Restaurant back. I think... Oh, no, we don't yet. Okay. Hey, cut it out! I'm an innocent... I'm just... Just don't ask where my... Okay, so we can buy... Um, we already have these two. Detox Charm. Area Map. None of those are really that good. Because there's no... I'm gonna go here. So there's the significant quicker backing. And we will uh, continue. Oh. It's good to build up our Mandragora Reservoir because they're useful when it comes to alchemy. Fairies kill a lot of uh, frogs. That's just, you know, natural enemies, the fairy and the frog. Before I forget, I set that to up. Oh, I didn't do that right, did I? There. So we can go up here. So usually, yeah, pomegranate. Got an onion too. So speed flight, not not obviously faster not night and day oh so BP you should um, be sure to buy destiny on 2 on PC when it comes out and because I'll probably buy it on PC and you can play with Bisaromi and I and talk about how much you love battle net because battle net is, is uh, it's something it is sure something. Mercedes didn't like that. That's why she said, "Here we go." She wants to. She wants to give battle net the old one between the eyes, betwixt the uh, the ocularies, as we used to say. Let's just blow them up. There, reloaded. Hey, Battle.net used to be really cool in a... It was really cool and like groundbreaking back in the, you know, Diablo 2 days. That was, you know, really, really cool. But... It hasn't been quite the same since. It's not bad, I mean. I don't know. I've been very critical of, I guess, all of the PC uh, services, because they keep trying to, to be like, you know, we provide something better than the consoles, and it's like, not really, and I, it, to be fair, they're not the ones saying that, it's wow. like in hey, listen. the obnoxious PC Master Race people. So I'm going to buy a Lux Stone, this will give us item drops. 
I don't want to, you know, just stack too much uh, attack up, defense down and stuff. So our defense is 7. That'll give us a little bit of more meatiness. So I think that's everything here. Yeah, no, here we are. And we can plant another seed. So we're ready to fight the boss. Let me just quickly... Skills... That's a hundred. We're ways off from that. Spy. Foes on burst upgrade. I should use this at some point. Um, I think I'm gonna, next I might save for either a round shot upgrade or the Cypher Mastery. Hard to, to say. Okay, we've explored everywhere, so it's time to fight the boss. I will always challenge a powerful foe. I ain't afraid no foes. Does Beldor really live here? <laughs> ah! Oh no! What should I do? Uh, pick it up! You stupid frog! I dropped my mother's bow! Now how is that my fault? This pond is full of frogs. Oh no! I can't find it! The pond is deep in places. I could dive and look for it. Hmm. But if I help you, what can you do for me in return? Well, I... I won't shoot any more frogs. I'm wasting my time here. Hey, wait! I know! I will grant just one wish for you. Will you please find my bow? Okay. Your bow, man. It's a deal. What a greedy little frog. He probably has some stupid pointless wish anyway. Princess Mercedes, what are you doing in this swamp? Perfect timing. I have been looking for you, my loyal sorcerer, Beldor. I have a request for you. I would like to ask for your assistance. I have a dilemma. I uh -oh. am currently a faithful servant to King Melvin. Melvin is not king. Make no mistake, I am queen. No, he shall be the new king very soon. Now come, Belial. Swallow this little queen and make her disappear. Uh, so, uh, Belial is kind of in a bad place. He gets mind controlled by a lot of people. Well, heart controlled rather. Hey! <laughs> Little help? <laughs> we, we we've incremented the dragon. So Mercedes is kind of a shit. Um, we promised not to shoot any frogs, but that was a, that was a fake news promise. As you can see. I'm gonna just push him so I can pick up the toxin. Yeah, see, if I knock stuff back, it hits him too. I thought it, it, that was true, but I didn't remember. So I didn't want to say that before I knew it was true or not. can't quite just dodge through that. Oh, it's kind of dumb of me. Need to remember his range. He has significant range. So there, I knocked his, his trash ball back into him. He's feeling generally upset about that. Oh, yeah, so he can eat stuff, recover health.
didn't really discuss that in the Cornelius playthrough because we just kind of killed him. But... Now the frogs are the frogs are pal. I cannot let you return. Tough luck. Please prepare yourself. What the? He he's poisoned me. This will have to wait. Ran off, hey? Doesn't seem like a normal frog, does he? Uh, is that a cipher? You're awful. My skills are ruined. D do you want to continue? I do not. Lower your weapon. I must obey that sorcerer's commands. Frogs are friends. If our only friend. he were gone, I would be able to enjoy a moment of freedom. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh. And I. I changed my TV for a second. Sorry. A creature that threatened you. Second. Kind-hearted young queen, listen to my warnings. The flames of rebellion are in the flower garden. A mutiny has begun. Well, we we know that. It must be Melvin. We know that too. You must act now, otherwise you cannot turn back. Hey, wait! What about your promise? Yeah, the frog, you know, he may have made a, a bad choice in helping. What should I do? Helping her pro bono. But we'll find that out, won't we? Over the course of this story. First shot. Enhance first shot whenever you have not fired for a while. So this is the big shot. Plus, so you better believe I'm going to invest in that. Spread shot. So some of these you have to, re you have to um, backtrack to get. For this one, you know, a lot of these you don't find, some of these you don't find normally during gameplay. So, recovery up, very good. You're going to have to find out, BP. I'm not going to spoil any of the, these frog storylines for you. I'm not going to provide you with fake frog news or real frog news. You're going to have to witness it firsthand. Okay. Act two. Starting in our forest. So we've been exiled from our own castle. Queen Mercedes, I'm glad we could meet. I had no idea that Melvin had already convinced the sorcerer to join him. Well, yeah. Your Majesty, this is serious. Also, yeah. Melvin has seized political power, and the palace is in disarray. Everyone fears his Shadow Knight, and some have fled. All right. That's bad. Please rest assured, everyone here is loyal to you, Your Majesty. What can I do with so few people, though? Yeah, things are not going well for poor Mercedes. This revolt was a deliberate uprising. Melvin's too shrewd. He must have been planning this back when Queen Elfaria was still alive. Hmm. Please stay hopeful, Queen Mercedes. We have captured some of the dissidents, but others have fled. Well, so just so what we that others will join our forces. So what we know from the timeline, the Shadow Knight is an ally. Eventually becomes an ally of um, King Odin. So this happens. I've never seen so many fairies all together. It's like a dream. <laughs> Your lips flapping is like a nightmare, buddy. Are like a nightmare, I should say. Okay, nah, we're we're fine. Um. 
We'll be good. Okay. I think now we start seeing the, the traveling kitchen. We cannot go to Puka Land yet, I think. No, so I can choose chapter. Because some chapters you can you can um, you can backtrack, but you oftentimes can't. Uh, yeah, visit areas before you're supposed to. So, but yeah, the timeline they actually have a, they actually do provide a timeline half in game. The nobles of Ringford support Melvin, and the other half is undecided. Melvin has occupied the palace and is sending troops to capture the queen. A.K.A. you. Though we are few, we are soldiers who are loyal to Queen Altharia's daughter. It seems that some have locked themselves into a wing of the palace to fight. Can anyone do anything? Jeez. Please, do something! You are so spoiled. You always assume that somebody will come along to take care of things for you. This will be difficult. If you want to be queen, you must take the lead, or no one will follow. Frog, you're... <sighs> you're exactly right. I will return to the palace. Those who will fight alongside me, come on! All right, the frog's given us some good advice. But just who is this mysterious frog, anyway? Okay. So we kind of have our work cut out for us, right? Regain control of the palace, stop the rebellion, possibly kill our cousin. Don't, don't attack me when I'm reading the map. Talk about rude. You know, like, that guy's really inconsiderate. He deserved what he got. Drain. So drain, I think, is, yeah, empty material and seeds, huh? Drains phosons from all living things. That's pretty good. But yeah, so, so this one is, this story is a little more, you know, there's a lot of, there's some critical intrigue, but it kind of shows you what's going on in the Fairy Kingdom, who was kind of an antagonist in the uh, the first story, Gwendolyn. Um, you know, and it just gives you a different perspective. I, I I'm I'm a fan of different perspectives in, in video games. I think it's it's usually a pretty good idea because it lets you kind of get a different view and even see the same events from different angles, which can really reframe things. I think it's, it's, it's something that video games can do really well. Okay, I'm gonna be using... I didn't use these anywhere near enough in the past, so... Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Talk about bad timing. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay, here's what I'll do. I will cyclone again. Yeah, that was perfect. Clearly, I timed it so well, and there was no element of luck at all. Hey, son. I'd screwed up my, um, Restreamio token, so that's why I had the... the technical difficulties. It was really just my fault. Okay. So we are here and doing it. Committing, um... Oh, I'm supposed to have Cyclone here. Alright. 
how do I make Cyclone? Text. Uh, prophecy. The prophecy is bad shit's gonna happen. Spoilers. Cyclone. Turny. Oh. I'll turn the game audio down a bit. There, I hope this is a little more reasonable. It was turned up, because I think it sounded like, um, Tuesday, or not Tuesday, yesterday was Tuesday. Sunday, when I was streaming, um, sounded as, as, as if it was too low. So I, I hope this is a reasonable compromise. I, c I can continue to lower it or, or raise it as needed. So mix this with the tourney. Uh, execute, yeah. Yeah, the frogs are friend. Yeah, <laughs> Puzzle solving. Look at that, we we found a butterfly. Butterflies, of course, made from souls. That's just common science fact. Everyone knows that. Uh, well, right now I'm only one frog, but it's possible more frogs may join my uh, my cause. Let's plant a muggle. Two meals, huh? Ah, because you're one of them. Them darn darn your pains. Eat frog. It's a little wasteful there, but all right. What say ye? The noblemen to the south have joined our cause. Yay! Towards the palace as we speak. Yay! Yay! That's great news. Okay. Just try to take stock of where I should go. Well, I want that foes on. I want all of it. Save your Majesty. Thanks. I've been hiding since I escaped from the palace. You're a good Puka. Please buy whatever you'd like. I'll give you a discount. Man. Okay. So Spirit Stone defense, but eh. There's not really that much worth buying right now. I'm gonna hold on to my gold. Looks like we still cannot access the touring restaurant, unfortunately. It's one of the big gold sinks. Please beware the bell Two balls. If he cloaks himself in darkness, there is no stopping him. So that's talking about the Shadow Knight. Please do your best to get away. His his cipher is the Bell Reaver. Um we'll 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 perhaps encounter him. But uh the thing to know about him is that as they said, he can cloak himself in darkness. Uh, this is not something you want to fuck around with. Oh, hi, buddy. Your Caterpie's a demon. X Scissor, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Low Kick? God. So, like, h how does the randomizer affect the, the, the play? Like,. It seems like it would just be complete bananas. I guess I guess you can't really save, you know, given how it, it, it's random. So I it'd probably be vastly different between different playthroughs. But I guess you're you kind of have to come up with a lot of tactics on the fly. A lot of the traditional po Pokemon tactics not working, I imagine. It's probably pretty interesting. I just can't imagine what it would be like. All the rules broken. Except for the ones that aren't broken. Pixie call. Alright, what's this one? Slip slide. That sounds pretty cool. We'll try that. We'll equip it. Oh, it's a PAL one. Cool. That reminds me, people... Some people call, like... So when you have, you know, a sideways directional prompt like this, so for what I signed slip slide to, some people would call that, like, kids growing up around the block would call that, um, over. 
So like in Smash Bros, you know, if you're doing that, they'd say, I, I you know, use my over in B, and it's like, well, don't fucking call it that. Over is ambiguous as hell and could refer to any direction. You stupid child. You know, so... I, I killed all of those kids. They're all dead now. Oh, neat. <laughs> no, I, I think I'm fine without the, the ROM, but thank you. That's It's interesting. Oh, it's, it's the sexy mushroom lady. Oh. Shit, that was kind of serious. Ooh, I gotta be serious now. Fuck! That's my first game over! This is, like, brutal compared to... Well, she's level 7, I'm level 5. So I need to not be anywhere near her, because she can... Those... There. I think if I can just keep my distance and fight intelligently. So, you know, two big ifs. Oh, that was my... There's my over in B. Oh, now it's it's hulking mushroom demon. Fuck. All right. Fine, we'll make we'll make your fucking thing game. All right. Mix. Cubsbane. <laughs> Sounds a bit like Final Fantasy Tactics music. Oh, I, th I thought I was... Oh, nice block, me. There, fuck this guy. Seeing the, the wayfish mushroom waifu transform into the hulking monster was a little scary. Okay, so th the main skill here is just a great source of uh, everything. Speed bell. Eh. All right. Here. Oh. Fucking turnies. I have to use a damn turny. Yeah, I saw your your PC having HM1. That's pretty funny. Good shit. I guess I already had a spare one, so I didn't need to. But there's a tourney anyway! Cool. Nice, a rest area. No uh, traveling restaurant, though, unfortunately. Touring restaurant, I think it's called. I'm lost in this incredible. Let's see. Yeah, there's just not much good shit right now, unfortunately. Might buy a few tonics. Eh, kind of torn on that even because they're not that great. I think I'll buy one singular tonic. Yeah, I saw the Arcanines. That was wild. Oh, I'm tiny! Do 
You can get big again. I don't remember how you do it, though. Yeah, this is how you do it. You hit triangle and you cancel the tiny state. But it lets you get places you can't get otherwise. So it's 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 a mixed mixed blessing. I think it makes you weaker, as you might expect. Okay, Muggle Seed. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's a ridiculous, son. That's very ridiculous. But I have to, yeah. Okay, just kick the vine. There we go. Boom! That should be, I think, everyone. Nope. There, that's the knockback one I hadn't done yet. Ooh, that's fun. That's a good one. Yeah, that's good. J Jesus. So you, you're playing like a highly, highly customized ROM. It's pretty cool, though. Okay, so we want to go just hit up hmm, this whole area in here. Alright. Oh, you have to be tiny. Here I can use the teleport, or teleport, as you Brits say. They say you Brits, but I don't think anyone here is British. So we can be tiny, and with the power of puzzle solving, oh, it's this right here. We are now going to get loot. Look at that, one gold. Oh, even better. It's kind of hard to pick things up when you're tiny as hell, but I have managed. Cool. Your mom is a child holding a, a Game Boy. Well, I'm calling the police, son. Wild Zangoose. Man, Zangooses are cool. I played Sapphire, so I n never had a Zangus, unfortunately. It wasn't cool enough. Then we got Swiper, and I desperately wanted Swiper to be cool, and he's not. I mean, it's different because, so in the past, I thought the, the blue quote-unquote version always had the, the cooler dudes. Like, uh, you know, controversial opinion, Pinsir way cooler than, than Scyther. Scyther's stupid! Pinsir, cool! Oh, shit. Okay, that was kind of a little close there. There. Yeah, that's, that's A rank quality. I didn't, I didn't, uh, do very well there. Alright, we'll try to... Eat, recover some health. Oh, we leveled up. It's always good. Okay, so that's it. Let me just loot this. Alright, we're backing now. Sorry, BP, I know you hate the backing. Jesus, you're taking free samples from little girls? Son, I'm getting a little worried about what you've done to this game. Your mom was a, a little boy, you said, and then you're... you're... <laughs> Team 39. Which one's 39? 
I don't remember. Damn it. I'm on fire. It's just like NBA Jam all over again. There. That, um, sideways one, really good for killing, uh, fairies. The floating fairies. Floating floozies, I guess. Shit. Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck. Didn't realize he had that kind of reach. Because I should have, though, since he has a spear. Or a lance, or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Hey Jay, playing a different game today. We're playing a PlayStation 4 video game. Well, it's a remake of a PlayStation uh, 2 video game. One of my favorites from the PlayStation 2 era. Didn't get enough love. Now it's getting love. Wild Medicham. Swift. Do you have any? Is that like any um, any of the bug fixes? Because I know uh, there are a few bugs in Pokemon uh, Red and Blue. One or two, particularly relating to the Swift move, which actually has a higher chance to miss than um, other moves in the game. It's like some glitch, I think. Switch has a 1 in 255 chance to miss and other moves will never miss or something? No, I think I, I, I beat Pikmin, so I'm sorry, Jay. Uh, Pikmin, Pikmin is it's on my shelf now. Um, appreciate all the help you gave me on that. I understand if, if you're here for the Pikmin and, and you know, nothing else. I, I will not hold it against you. All right. Not here for the the elf, or not the elf, the fairy girl committing fairy murder. Uh. Well, I you know, I may stream more Pikmin at some point. It's not a promise, but I'll try to. Uh. I I I'm revisiting or re-examining ways to to structure my stream. I would say, and Pikmin turned out to be a really good stream game for for several reasons, really. One of which being kind of the, it just lends itself well to streaming. So I, I may, you know, do that again. This is one of my story game stream days. So uh, we'll see how the, the, the Pikmin stuff comes up. That could probably come up on off days. So maybe tomorrow or something. No promises, but okay. Confronting our evil cousin. Quite the spectacle. You are totally surrounded. It is only a matter of time until your small number of allies have been repelled. Give it up. You are no leader. Once I become the king, and if you choose to obey me, I shall allow you to live as I am a man indebted to the former queen. I refuse. Then I have no choice. Lord Melvin! What is it? It... it's a frog. I don't understand it. That disgusting creature appeared in the palace and the troops are disoriented. Oh, I can't rely on you for anything. Damn. Tis useless to try to figure out what I have done. That jeweled bow that you hold is extremely powerful. 
but be warned. You are not the only one who wields a cipher. Ooh. Oswald? The bad guy? Well, not really bad guy. Why not test the Bell Deriver? On the Queen herself. So he's a, he's our foe. Oswald, Shadow Knight. But yeah, no, I I have played Pikmin one and two not extensively, so I I think they made a a Wii um, new play control version that is on the uh, Nintendo store, so I, I can I can do that. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten close to him, huh? Oh, that's the wrong choice, wasn't it? Alright, let's do... Whirlwind! <laughs> Take that, frame rate! Take that, chain! Oh shit. So Oswald, as mentioned, um, also has the ability to cloak himself in shadows. We have not seen this yet, but it's quite a dangerous ability. Okay, I should play it on GameCube. I do have, I think, a GameCube somewhere. I'll have to see if I can, uh... Dig it up. If we allow him to cloak himself in power... Okay, so, so, so why do you prefer the, the, the GameCube version, Jay? Is there anything in particular that I should be on the lookout for? So Mercedes is kind of a very different fighting style. Oh fuck, I thought I was blocking. Now I have a chance to drink some tonic. Oh, why'd I jump up? That's stupid of me. There we are. Yeah. Okay, well, I have a GameCube version of two. I'll have to track down one. I love the GameCube, though. It's a great system. Where is Melvin? He fought to the end, and he has returned to the heavens. Aww. Someone reported seeing his Shadow Knight being taken by a Holia. I see. All right. Hey. <sighs> Don't kill the frogs here. They are really fairy soldiers. This medicine will return them to normal. Did you change Melvin's soldiers into frogs? Yes, I slipped a little transformation potion into their drinks. Man, this guy's a useful ally. Well, now that your reinforcements have arrived, it's time for your promise. As you see, I am a frog now, but I was originally human. However, it seems my curse is slightly different. I've tried already, but that potion won't cure me. As far as I know, a kiss from a powerful fairy is able to break a spell of this type. 
Hmm. You are fairy royalty, so I assume you are powerful. What? So, that's my wish. What? <laughs> on a slimy, poisonous frog. Can the Queen of the Fairies go back on her word? I, I need to prepare myself. Just give me some time. So all the voice actors do a really good job in this game. Mercedes, I mean, she has probably... She's kind of a difficult character to like because she's... She's a child in a horrible situation. So... I don't know. I feel for a little though, because it's it's you know your parents are killed, your your family betrays you. Eh, not such a good day. But I don't know. The whole like the frog saved her ass multiple times now, and she doesn't want to kiss him. And it's, it's just a, it's a, just a, it's a kiss. I mean, she's a kid, and it's like oh, my first kiss to a gross frog. But it's, you know, the frog, you, you owe the frog big time. That big boy frog has saved your, your life. Once or twice. Okay, I'm going to quickly um, run to the restroom, and I'm going to mute my microphone, but I will be right back. So, un momento. All right. Oh, the frog was Liam O'Brien. I did not know that. We, he does a good job. I think all the voice actors do a really good job here. I mean, clearly, so clearly they get like high quality voice actors, but they have good direction too, it seems. Your Majesty, the remaining rebels have been arrested. The soldiers who were merely following orders should be pardoned. As for the lords who commanded them, if they swear fealty to your majesty, shouldn't we mitigate their punishment? I don't know. Yes, I agree. It's a little more lenient than I would be, I think. Oh, are you ready now? You're butterfree, huh? What's up? No, not yet. What a tease. The Pokedex injury of Mewtwo. That's excellent. Your majesty, you used to love going frog hunting. But now you travel everywhere with a frog. <laughs> you used to love murdering people. Yes. It's a real pain. This is this is a fun thing he's listening in on us. It's hard to explain. Huh? <laughs> what if that changes his dialogue? I don't remember. Oh, are you ready now? No, it doesn't. N no, not yet. What a tease. <laughs> Poor frog. This frog's not gonna have a good time, I'm gonna tell you. 
Excellent. Just you and me. How about it? Uh, Mercedes is like 10 or something, so that's... I'm calling the police. Okay, warmer. I think I know where we're going next. I'm gonna buy a few eggs. Because eggs are gonna be useful. Eggs are always useful. Oh. Let's talk. To celebrate the Queen's victory, I'll let you visit the Puka Village. Just you and Yeah, your Butterfree has like demonic uh, moves. Which is a little a little terrifying. Alright. I'm gonna sell. Sell. Alright, we should be pretty good now. So, 28. Ugh, do I have to sell more shit? Just you. They really kind of throw a lot of these potions at you and everything. Kind of, it's kind of, you know, I'm complaining about getting too much free shit, so. I should tell you. You know, as a millennial, some of your time since you've come all this way I have rare okay sells food that's good okay so I don't remember what um, I don't know how much money I have right now how much of the Valentinian money I should say oh I guess I think Jay's already gone but I was gonna ask him what um, his favorite GameCube games were cuz I w the, the GameCube man that had some real good games Love me the cube. Pot au feu. Let's have some pot au feu. Bon appetit! This is big because I think this means the, the, the touring restaurant shows up now. So that's going to be big. All right, we got two levels. Hope you're happy, BP. I know BP, he loves leveling up almost as much as I do. I'm a big fan of leveling up, though. One of the great joys in life, leveling up. Will this be all for you? Especially if it's like a Call of Duty game and it plays a ridiculous guitar riff. Thank you very much. Gotharita, man. But yeah, Call of Duty, um, the last Call of Duty I played was Black Operations 3. And um, when you leveled up, it would play a ridiculous guitar riff out of the... Um, Flash Cannon Sludge Meditate and Whirlwind. But it would play this, this ridiculous guitar riff out of the, the PlayStation 4 um, like controller little speaker. So it's like... And it's like every time you level up and if you're playing on the weekend where it's, it's if you're playing on a WXP weekend, it's like you shoot someone, you know, you get a double kill, you know, it's just nonstop and it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Queen Mercedes, rest assured, the <laughs> chaos God. in the kingdom is subsiding. But yeah, I don't know, there's, there's kind of a mindless fun to some of the shooters. The best ones, though, Titanfall 1, tremendous game. Titanfall 2, tremendous game. Those are, I think, my favorite um, console-style shooters. But I liked Black Ops 3, because Black Ops 3 was just really stupid, but it, like, it owned how stupid it was. You know, it was... It, it... Yeah, like, I guess that's the best way I can say it. Uh, hey, all I need is a quick peck. Just close your eyes. Come on, Mercedes. Okay. I suppose you're right. Your Majesty, please hurry! Uh-oh. What's happening? It's a dragon! We're being attacked! Is it Belial? Baldor's servant! No, a dragon we have never seen. Uh-oh. Please, flee the palace! It is already nearby! Poor frog. Your Majesty, please escape! Now! 
a dragon. Oh, looks like it's Wagner. You can Wagner. With a raging storm of arrows. What's he pissed off about now? I guess we'll find out. But I shall not lose a single shining scale. A brat like you, a queen. <laughs> what a joke! Uh, I am the queen. Then remember this, little girl. Remember the sins your land has committed. That is why I am here today. Uh oh. Your sword slayed Hindle, the only dragon who felt for your race. Uh oh. His death will now be yours. Uh oh. Bring this shadow knight before me. Oh. Let me show him the natural outcome of what happens when lesser races oppose dragons. Hindle? What does he mean? In order for the queen to recognize the power of the Belder River, Melvin had his swordsman slay the wise dragon Hindle. Well, that was a bad move. The Shadow Knight is gone. He and his commander have been killed. The fairies are famed liars. <coughs> Why would I believe you? Tell me who killed the swordsman who was strong enough to slay a dragon. Me! If he is not present, then I shall give you time. Bring him to me. My name is Wagner, and I live atop Horn Mountain. If you fail to visit me soon, I shall make my way here once again. If that should happen, I will set your forest ablaze with my flames! The dragons, um... So do we do? The Shadow Knight is... I'll explain. Uh, hmm? A queen must help her land. I shall go to the mountain and explain again. Your Majesty! Hmm. <laughs> Poor frog. Okay. So dragons uh don't dragons are basically immune in this universe to normal weapons, conventional weaponry I should say. Um ciphers like the kind we have here, so basically these weapons made with these crystals uh that gather power from the de the souls of the departed that they kill. Uh and constantly sharpen themselves are able to uh, inflict significant damage on dragons and as a result dragons fucking hate it <laughs> so they're not big fans of ciphers and people who use ciphers uh, easy way to end up on a dragon's shit list so dragons are pretty much openly hostile to anyone who has a cipher uh, some of the few dragons who, who weren't hostile well, there's Hendel um, and as we heard, Hindle was uh, slightly killed by uh, Oswald. So, thanks, Oswald. Piece of shit. Asshole. Landorus. Jesus Christ, son. Yeah. This is. This, so, how many. How Does it have. How many Pokemon does it have? Like a. 10 million, it sounds like. Habaneristo. A habaneristo sounds delicious. Maybe I'll get habanero. I'll just eat habaneros for lunch tomorrow. Just. I'm not quite that crazy. Or that hardcore, I should say. 251. So I just randomly selected 251 out of all of the Pokemon. That's pretty cool. And you got cool ones like Landorus. Ah, uh, Game Boy Limitations. That makes actually a lot of sense. What? How did he light me on fire? I kicked him immediately. Oh, oops. It's the wrong one, wasn't it? Yeah, get fucked. Oh, I didn't really fuck him up, did it? What's a disappointment? Yeah, 
That should be everyone. No. Everyone's been killed. That's pretty cool. I, I really like that. That sounds like a really cool idea. If I didn't have every goddamn game ever to play on my list, I would probably try that, take you up on that offer. But, God, I have so many fucking games to play. It's unreal. It's literally insane how many games I have left. I have a, a problem. I buy every... For the longest time, I would just buy everything. You know, and I faster than I could play it. And as a result, I have so many games now. I mean, this is good because it gives me... Um, oh, this is... This is... Yes. This is good because... Forcing myself to play through all the games I already own means that I'm, I'm buying and I'm only buying one game a month until I, I, I catch up because um, I honestly could not survive if it was not even one game a month but I'm just eating the pomegranate but uh, the problem well so the good part is that games are my avocados as a millennial uh, so this means that I, now I'm overflowing in money, and I'm using this to save up for some sort of housing, which is expensive as hell. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, fuck! But yeah, so I'm using this to save up money and gonna buy a condo or something and have a nice recording studio there and my cats will have more room to run around. They'll all be happy. Well, they'll both be happy because there's only two of them. Two cats. Oh, that was almost perfect. Ah, the shockwave. Ah, sounds like a German idiot. Oh, God, stop doing this! Yeah, so the, the one thing I never understood is, from my understanding of, of the, the, you know, the, the anime series, legendary Pokemon are like, you know, unkillable gods. Well, I mean, even in the, the game lore, they're like fucking unkillable god demon, you know, horrible... I don't think there are any cosmic horrors. I guess the closest is probably Deoxys, who is, you know, a cosmic entity. But, you know, in the game, you just... Lots of times... I mean, not not, lot, not lots of times, I should say, but, you know, normal Pokémon can fucking kill them. Like, you just... I don't know. They seem to sometimes dance around on whether there is multiple of, of legendary Pokémon, or if there's only one ever. I don't know. I, 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 yeah, so you're not supposed to think about, you know, the, the lore and the Pokemon in anime. I, I get that. Well, no, maybe I am, because according to that, that, that thing you posted, son, the, the Diamond and Pearl is supposed to be, like, one of the greatest animes of all time, which is very interesting. Interesting criteria. Man, that was a weird list. Weird isn't bad. I'm still I'm still not over that. Yeah, that was that was extremely surreal reading that top 100 animes of the last 100 years and it's all like I mean, there, so from what I saw, there was some legitimately good stuff. Like, there's Lupin the Third. Um, but just, uh, like, the, so they, people put the One Piece anime, and okay, I love One Piece. Like, I will, I'm a unabashed One Piece fanboy. Um, the anime is, is bad, and the reason it's bad is because they have to... So th th it's one of those, you know, high-demand series, so they the anime is, like, full of filler, 
Um, and it's not good filler either. Like Dragon Ball Z has a lot of filler, and people enjoy a lot of that filler. But a lot of the One Piece filler is like just really bad. But they do that because the demand is so high, and I guess if you ever lose your time slot on Japanese TV, it's basically impossible to ever get the same time slot again for God knows why. So they basically just keep making the show. So they, they slow everything down. It's heavily padded. Like if, if you've ever seen... Um, so an anime episode is like 23 minutes usually. Uh... The last time I watched the One Piece anime, the actual, like, new content... Oh, you can't catch Legendary Pokemon, damn. The last time that the, um, new content started, last time I watched, was like five or six minutes in. Before that, it was, you know, they, so they have an extremely long opening animation. Like, on the order of... It's like two and a half minutes. Um, they have a highly extended um, recap you know so it's like one fourth of the episode is literally just recap at the start so that Landorus you got you got trolled man alright time to make our small child character into a demon Leave it to me. She's gonna have demonic muscles, um, bursting with vitality. I shouldn't say that because that's probably someone's fantasy. Very well. I shouldn't even joke about some of this stuff. Everything is someone's fantasy, and that's that's why we can't have nice things. Like, someone is deriving... Someone on the internet would derive sexual pleasure from a small child eating an omelette like this. And that's just... It's... It's wrong. But... Hyper Beam Pen Missile Ice Beam and Metal Claw. I'll... I'll just accept it. Leave it to me. You know... What level is that Altaria? Level 3? And he's already got... A completely nonsensical moveset like that? So yeah, how does it how does it do the um, the later gen Pokemon who who have you know separate special stats? Did, did it just approximate them? That probably would be fine, honestly. Like you just average the special stats. It's level three, excellent. I, it probably averages the, the specials. You can just give them the special, the one special. Man, red and blue, the one special was kind of a really bad idea, wasn't it? I'd say what were they thinking, but it was basically just Ken Sugimoto, or whoever, whatever his name is, just coming up with random shit. Is there and you know, so he, he's, he's a very intelligent, crazy man. Well, very, very, I don't know if it's intelligent, but if it's like, he, he's a very creative man, I guess was the best Enjoy way. Your meal. Cause he just, it was like his wild, like, fever dream that, like, they would be, like, bugs and you'd collect them and everything and trade them with your friends, and it's like, okay, sure, whatever, dude. Will that be all? I guess it worked. Okay, so I need more eggs. And a lot of eggs. Okay. That's pretty cool. So they, they have, like, a really sophisticated randomizer, then. That's awesome. So I had originally been thinking about streaming near uh, Automata. That's likely not going to happen. Just given all of the the fact that it's you know a long game, and I don't think it would be a good stream game ultimately. But I you know without having played that yet, and so you know feel free to, to yell at me for not having played it. I fully predict that would be one of my. Um, games of the year, honestly. I fucking love Nier 1. He's so cold. Maybe, you know, if I ever feel like it, I'll do a, a Nier 1 playthrough. That is, a, that is a phenomenal game. That is a game among 
games, I'd say. Nier is just... Oof. Great game. Very emotional experience, I would say. Big, big on the feels. More ice touring rest. I thought it, I see you have a new rest. Now then. And then Yoko Taro is just wild, insane man. Once you get on the Yoko Taro train, it doesn't stop. It just keeps going. It keeps on going forever. I mean, so far he's connected. Drakengard 1, Drakengard 3, Near and Near Automata in the same timeline. I don't know if there's any other games in the timeline yet. I mean, Near Automata is like so far ahead in the timeline that it's it's yeah. But what's interesting is Drakengard 3 is not really that good of a game. And Guard 1 is like this really flawed, like weird game. But they and they went with the the, the, the joke ending as the canon ending. The joke ending where you're fighting this like evil um, god basically, and the character and his dragon um, smash into the uh, the dragon, and for God knows why. Um, smashing into the dragon makes them end up in um, modern day Tokyo. Especially into the demon, sorry. Modern day Tokyo. And then so you have this fight there, and then when the, the boss decomposes, the fight, by the way, is a rhythm game. Um, it's a rhythm battle and a completely non rhythm game. So. Doing that, and it, 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 it starts out really easy, but it becomes a punishingly brutal rhythm game. So that that alone, you know, if you want to talk about having testicles, um, Yoko Taro is probably the man who has the most testicles in the world. Just as kind of like an abstract concept, you know, like number of, of testicles. Yoko Taro is probably at like seven or eight thousand, um, and I got to respect that. That man has, has all of the testicles. Turn around, you fucking chicken. Oh my god. That man, quite a few testicles. Oh my lord. Fine, we'll, we'll... Oh my god, is he literally coming over here now, you son? Oh, no. The grape seed is mine. Sorry, this looks like I'm just really bad. It's I'm really bad, but it's also a weird ass. It's triangle and down to drop it, which is strange. But I need to have the the chicken grow up. And and lay a few more eggs for me. There, he should lay at least one more egg. Oh, whoops. All right, two eggs. Chicken. All right, this is the leveling up part, the eating food, and BP is, was a real big fan of this last time. I bet he's, he's just having a, a great time. Mandrig. Mandra salad. Very. But yeah, near is fucking bonkers. Um, so after the after they have the rhythm game battle in in Tokyo, the giant dissolves. The giant demon dissolves. Um, the particles disperse, and uh, it becomes very bad for uh, us people of Earth, we end up in a very bad situation as a result of that. Let me just see what else I can make. Um, okay. Let's do this. Ooh, that's a, that's, man, these are going to be a lot of EXP. But I only have one yogurt, so let's make the... Let's 
make this. As you and long story short, in the far future, near happens. And then in the far, 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 far future, near Tamata happens. Near is set in like the year 3,000, 300 something. Near Tamata is, I believe, like 12,000 or maybe 11,000. That timeline getting a little extended. A uh, little out there, but it's it's in a good way. Fucking phenomenal universe, Yokotaro. Completely, um, ingenious storyteller. But his games are usually pretty sad, pretty somber. Themes usually involve, you know. Unhappy things happening. Will that be all? Or, you know, just kind of like, wow, that's really unfortunate. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have a few treasure chests to get this way, so let's head back. Let's plant a few seeds though, including our grape seeds. See does grape need a few more things? I did. That looks like those are like some pretty great customization op options. Yeah, no. restreaming your chat is working for me. So that's that's wild. So you have, um, let's see, include Pokemon from later generations, starter Pokemon, randomized trainer, randomized wild, gift and overworld, randomized move sets. Hell yeah, randomized move TMs teach. That's kind of wild. Trainer classes, overworld sprites, field items, soundtrack. Wow, that's that's wild. Tweaks, so perform trade evos at level 42. Love it. Update types to XY and moves, sure. New moves, yellow gym leader levels, infinite tech speed. That's wild. Yeah, those are, those are some really good features. That would really give you a completely new experience still playing Gen 1. And I mean, I like Gen 1. It's not terrible. I just think it's kind of, it's difficult to defend Gen 1 compared to the other gens. Like the best game in Gen 1 is Yellow, I think kind of unequivocally. And even that is not really, I don't think that really holds its own compared to the, the later gens just in terms of content or anything really. I get, you know, like the whole, okay, it, it, sure, it, it created everything. Okay, I, I get that, but I don't think that alone accounts for, you know, I don't think that overwhelms anything else, I guess I would say. It's part of the reason why I don't think, you know, Zelda 1 deserves to be the, ruled as the best game ever for every, every video game list a afterwards. I mean, so... Oh, okay. Cool. I mean, so if, yeah, like if it was up to me, just to be complete, to get the most clicks, I would just always, so like top ten, you know, top one hundred sports games, I would do. Um, I would do like every top one hundred list they could do would have all of the Zelda games, um, in order of release. Just so I could say that that just so I could get even more clicks by saying Breath of the Wild was below Zelda one and two, um, but yeah, I would I would do that. I would I wouldn't include the CDI games. I'm not that much of an asshole, but I would I would intentionally just try to fuck with people. But Zygarde, man. You are getting, you got like the most ridiculous draw. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess like half of your Pokemon in, in your, your game, son, are, are legendary Pokemon. That's pretty ridiculous. You might, well, I'd say you might want to play the lottery, but there's like 30 legendary Pokemon by now. They're kind of, you know. I guess one of the things that is having a new Pantheon on each, each gen has kind of diluted the the, you know, the legendaries, but that's just, that comes with the territory, right? Like, he, 
you know, there's there's nearly 800. Oh, there's over 800 now, right? It's like 10 trillion, I think, Pokemon. Um, you know, it's just it's just the number. I think is not a problem, really. What's what's funny is when people who are like, well, only the original 150 are the ones that matter, and it's like, okay, so you're you're leaving Mew out, which was despite Mew being in the original games. So you're just leaving Mew out because you hate Mew. That's racism. Yeah, it, no, I, I think 800 was like the the. Um, honestly, I didn't even buy Sun and Moon, and that's not like a, an indictment of Pokemon. It's I just got, I had a lot of fatigue for the the formula. Um, not that it's like a bad formula. It's just it's like it, they just seem to really stick to the formula. And, you know, a lot of good series, I think, suffer from sticking to the formula too much. Like, Persona, for sure, I would say, sticks too much to the formula. I love Persona, but one of my biggest complaints with Persona 5 is that a lot of, even at, at points like plot elements, are you're able to guess just by looking at, you know, the plot of the previous Persona games and making a couple educated guesses. You know, so it's kind of like, oh... Why well, I, I did see that coming because I kind of knew, like I, I played Persona 4, so I saw certain things coming, but I don't know. I like it, but I guess just doing the same formula, I, I understand that, that, that as a developer and as a gamer, it's nice to know exactly what you're getting when you when you when you go into a series, right? So being able to say, okay, I know what a what a Persona game is going to be, or I know what a Pokemon game is going to be. Like, I, I get that that's nice, but I, I also, at, at personally, maybe, you know, I'm on the... Maybe I'm one of the few people who feels this way, or maybe I'm not. Um, but I feel some fatigue when it's, like, the same... I guess when it feels like there's this little deviation from the formula. And, and Pokemon, I, to me, feels like there's little deviation from the formula. So... Oh, I see. Oh, they on top of each other, kind of. They are. Wow. I don't know. Formulas aren't bad. Like, like I said, you know. That was kind of one of my complaints with Dark Souls, although I seem to be the only person who, who felt that way. So... And Dark Souls 2 and 3, I think, deviated suitably from the formula. But Pokémon, you know, you kind of see the same stuff, and I guess the... the, the, the there's the, the modern Pokémon with... Well, modern EXP share, I should say. Um, it seems to work a specific way, and once you get used to that, it... So the modern EXP share, I think, is kind of like a necessary evil, but at the same time, it makes the game too easy. It's a necessary evil in that the way they balance EXP um, has a lot of problems, especially if you want to actually do the, the, you know, what the Pokémon series is supposed to be about, where you have, you know, you use for me pokemon is about as i'm leveling up i'm i'm you know as i'm progressing through the game i'm discovering new pokemon and and i'm incorporating ones that i like into my team so for me pokemon without the the new exp share becomes an inherently really grindy game um yeah no it, modern exp share gives everyone um half exp and it makes the game way too fucking easy, but it's also like a necessary kind of thing, right? Because what I had in black and white was I had to grind a lot, because black and white still has the... It's, it's the last gen with the old EXP share. The last game, I should say, with the old EXP share. So you still have to... Um, I had to grind a lot, because I would... You know, it seemed like almost every new area, there was one new Pokemon that I was like, Oh, this guy's really cool, I want to incorporate him into my team. 
you know, and I, I, I want to do that. Like, I want to make use of the different options because that's what, to me, what Pokemon is about. And that being, you know, almost, at least by the EXP curve, discouraged, it felt like, was really disheartening, is the best way I can put it. So... Modern EXP sure makes the game too easy, yes, but... You know, with how Game Informer is designing them, um, I, don't, I don't see a better solution, really. I would like to see maybe, you know, a concept of trainer levels and the game being a little more open-ended, but as it stands, that seems to not be on the plate ever. I mean, so I like some of the... the and I won't defend these as good games, but, like, the Pokemon Coliseum games, because, yeah, Game... In Did I say Game Informer? I'm sorry. I, I, I had a little... I had some beer. I'm a little a little tipsy. Um, probably just can't talk right now. Yeah, no, Game Informer making Pokemon games. Ooh. No, 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 no. But, mm, Game Freak is... They're a very talented company. They have a lot of in intelligent people working for them. Like, I would be the first person to admit that. I guess one of the things I would say is I'm hardest on a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm hard on a lot of games that I really like. So, I, for example, I love Monster Hunter. I fucking love Monster Hunter. I've put in hundreds of hours across the Monster Hunter games. You know, let me, let me say that. I am really hard on on Capcom, I'm really hard on the Monster Hunter games in general because I think they, you know, I, think I really like them. I, I feel invested in the series, I, and and so I think, you know, when I think they can do better, I, I will say so. I don't know. I guess that's just kind of how I look at it. So when it comes to Pokemon, I, I like Pokemon, but I really think they could do better. They could try different things. So I liked... Um, the Pokemon Coliseum. I only really played Pokemon Coliseum 1. That had an interesting kind of story mode with the whole dark Pokemon. That was kind of a dumb, like, thing, but the fact that it actually played a little differently, I was totally fine with that. Unfortunately, that was another game where I felt like I was... They are like, this is the hard Pokemon, and it's like, okay, well, the way that manifests in, in the game is that I'm visiting the, you know, the... the the Poke Center after every fight. That's not really a good compromise, but that's a different, you know. So I think some of the, the concepts of Pokemon need to be revisited, and they seem to be unwilling to do so. Are you affected as an RPG with no healing magic? Oh. So it, it randomized too much. Your rival doesn't even keep the same Pokemon. That's that's kind of problem. That's kind of a... That's, that's unfortunate, I would say. Okay, I gotta figure out what I can drop. So I have way too much shit in my inventory right now. And I haven't had any uh, items to increase my si my inventory size. <laughs> I must have my size. That sounded a little, you know... Eh. Uh, I'm hoisted at this point. What is natural? Converts food on the ground to photons. Well, I can convert that to photons. Yeah. <laughs> Your rival Thuray is Tepig. Your rival's a fucking demon. You know, like, I, I know, you know, there's the whole, oh, your rival's Pokemon died, you know, thing. I think that's kind of dumb. It, what is it, is Eradicate supposed to die? Your rival is a hiker. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know, I, I guess, so I'm, I'm, I'm really, um... Skeptical is one way to put it. Uh, disdainful is another way to put it. Of, of fan quote theories unquote. So 
anytime there's a fan theory, I almost always think it's stupid. For better or for worse. Usually for better. Alright, nothing up there. Okay. Okay, so we can um, plant a seed, a muggle seed. And we have a good amount of money, too. Yeah. Let's get our... Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, good. Oh. I, you, you certainly can't blame people for thinking that, because it's not like there's there's context in the game to imply otherwise. I just think that all fan theories are dumb. I mean, I've seen, like, so the reason I, I hate fan theories, it kind of stems from, um... So there is a... Yeah. There, there's, a, there's a fan theory, quote-unquote, regarding, um... Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, and Final Fantasy Tactics Advance is not a great game. I enjoy it for what it is. Yes, welcome Ash. Welcome to uh, YouTube. You know, Ash, one of these days I'm gonna stream. Um, I'm gonna stream uh, Final Fantasy 15, so you can just see all the food porn in that game, because that game has some A plus food porn. One of the main characters is a gourmet chef, and you cook food um, every time you you use the campsite. But okay, let me let me catch up uh, you on this, Ash. So we're playing right now as um, Mercedes. Mercedes is the previous princess, now queen of the uh, fairy kingdom, um, because King Odin. If you remember, BP didn't, but um, you may remember, King Odin uh, kind of kicked the fairy's asses. So Mercedes now has to kind of pick up the pieces. She just um, put down a rebellion within her own kingdom where her cousin kind of usurped the throne. So Mercedes is like 10 or so years old She's really thrust into a Sorry difficult position. Way. And, you know, I think it's pretty easy to sympathize with her, but the downside being she's written in kind of a difficult to sympathize with else? way. Because she, she does act very... She acts childish and doesn't really know what she's doing. And it's like, okay, you know, that's that's accurate, I but it's also kind of, like, annoying in, in a certain way. So it's complicated. I, she's one of the better... I mean, child characters in video games get a lot of hate. For good reason, I think a lot of them are just annoying. But Mercedes, I think, is one of the, the more, you know... She's not super likable, but she's definitely... She's not unlikable. Like, you can, you can empathize with her, I guess I would say. There's characters you can empathize, and there's characters you can relate to. So, Kratos from God of War is someone you can certainly not... Um, I don't think you can relate to him. I think he's a very difficult, unenjoyable character to, um... Yeah, but you can you, you can probably relate to him in that... Or, you know, you can't really empathize with him, but you can at least re relate... I don't know, I, I guess I kind of... I, I meant my terms, terminology there. But he's a character who you can't really feel... You can't really feel bad for because he's also not a good person. But his struggle is ultimately the more just... So between him and the antagonist, his side is the more just side. So it's complicated, and I do respect that. The problem is that it feels really ridiculous to have kind of a serious storyline in a God of War game. Um, and this does not work to their favor when you're actually playing the games. And maybe I will at some point on stream. Probably not, but... I ultimately like the God of War games, but... Oh, nice. A pedal with soft world. Yeah, so one of my big complaints with Pokemon is not having any kind of healer whatsoever. Like, the soft world is not really a replacement for any kind of serious healer. So having to go back to the Poke Center 
whenever you need healing is like really unreasonable. So it, unless I want to, you know, use just the same characters or same Pokemon for years, I kind of uh, end up going to the Poke Center every few flights, which is really stupid. Uh, and you can argue part of that is my fault in that I change my team all the time. But, you know, whatever. But yeah, Mercedes has an automatic um, crossbow. This is just as silly as it sounds. She's kind of a, a monster, killing everyone. Oh, you got the God of War PSP. So the God of War PSP game was actually pretty cool. But yeah, God of War is basically, it's it's a version of, of Greek mythology. It stars um, Kratos, who just kills everyone, friend or foe alike. <laughs> so he's already, like, in God of War 1, there's, there's times where you just kill people who are not even, like, hostile to you remotely because it's like eh, he's kratos he's 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 a badass he's an anti-hero and it's like i i i guess he's an anti-hero but he's also i don't know it's it's really hard to feel like his struggle is just the only way it, it feels justified is they, they try to paint the, the the greek gods as as far worse but i, I don't know so it, it, it's a game where I think the narrative really undercuts the experience because the narrative is like, it, it's desperately trying to find ways to um, make Kratos not the villain of the series. And so, but it's also at the same time, so he, he's not a nice guy. He's a mean guy who kills people. Who kills innocent people. But it's trying to make him not, not the villain. Oh, don't use the daycare. Yeah, that makes sense. But so Kratos is, is a mean guy who is the villain, and the result is they're trying to make the the um, you know the 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 gods, the Greek gods, even more villainous than he is, and it it becomes like completely farcical at points. Like you you can't possibly empathize with anyone. I don't know. God of War 1, I think, is, is the one where Kratos is the most reasonable. He's a very upset man, and it's because... Um, so he was, he was, you know... Uh, so, okay, Kratos is this... this He's a Spartan, and, you know, he's, he's doing his thing. He's doing the, the fighting and all that, and one day he's about to lose in battle. So he says, hey, Ares, God of War, uh, how about you save my life and I'll do your bidding? And then Ares is like, okay, sure. So he, he does that, makes Kratos um, kind of his avatar. And Kratos has to do bad shit for him. And then all of a sudden, Kratos, Kratos is like, hey, I don't really like doing bad shit for you, Ares. And Ares is like, okay, uh, all right, see you later, Kratos. Then Kratos goes home and he finds um, his home has been overrun with... Um, these villainous warriors so he 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 murders all of them only to discover that they weren't villainous warriors they were just his family who the gods made appear as villainous warriors to him oops good job kratos you killed your family good job so that's unfortunate Wagner! and after that it's just complete nonsense there's time travel involved and man it's it's silly. It's very silly. Kratos is not a good person. I told you. <laughs> I defeated him. <laughs> you trembling before me? Yeah, I know I did. Really stand upright in this cold weather. Do you not see the cipher in my hands? It was passed down from my mother. I speak the truth. You have nerve, child, to show me the very weapon that <laughs> my friend. 
Thanksgiving at the, the Kratos household. But you have earned my wrath! So I, I discussed this is a little before you joined, Ash. Very well. Let me test you. So the notion um, in this game is that dragons are basically immune to conventional weaponry. Um, one thing they're not immune to are these special magic weapons called ciphers. These ciphers are essentially... Um, so the, they're weapons that become sharper with each person they kill. They gather the, the idea is they gather the power of um, the souls of the departed. So that's kind of, you know, metal as hell. Uh, but yeah, so the, these are able to um, pierce dragon scales and inflict serious damage on dragons. Dragons really don't like this. They don't like mortals being able to, you know, have oversight on them. So, an easy way to get on a dragon's shit list is to have a cipher. You have a cipher, dragons fucking hate you. So, don't have a cipher, and you can be a dragon's. Well, you probably won't be a dragon's friend, but you know, they'll they'll hate you less. Oh damn. So ciphers, all of the player characters have ciphers, let me just point, point out that way. A few NBCs have them. Uh, the idea is that they're these, this, this special weaponry forged by the dwarves uh, of these crystals from the netherworld. So they, they, they kind of had the power of, of death imbued in them. But yeah, so, so Mercedes is a fairy, so you're just supposed to accept certain things, like she's not freezing, and she's a child, you know, that kind of stuff. You're just, you're just supposed to not ask questions, alright? I'm gonna... I have to ask you to cooperate. Oh, I guess we killed the dragon. Faster than I thought we would. Okay. So, so Wagner... Please don't get angry! Beat up by a lot of people, but he's is in the netherworld. He's kind of a nice guy. He would never he's, harm dragons. He's very Sundere. That is a fine thing for you to say. You who treat brilliant and noble dragons like dogs. Dragons have also been massacred by mortals, so. An impudent, stupid girl like you will never serve as queen. But your weapon is indeed powerful. I can believe you killed the Shadow Knight. I can say with confidence, the Cyphers are truly a threat to us. We cannot ignore the threat. Do not think it's over. I promise not to use this bow for evil. Well then, what will you use it for? To defeat the Demon Lord. Very well. You foolish jewel handlers should destroy one another. But yeah, so Dragons... Wagner is ultimately a good guy. He's just very Sundere. Impossible. Huh? Rock? Your cipher is no match against the Demon Lord's Baylor. <laughs> Frogs aren't built for cold places like this. So this frog... I'm glad you're safe. ...saved our lives a few times now. And all he's asked for in return is a kiss to break his curse, but Mercedes, being a little oh, wait, child, wait, doesn't wait, want to kiss... Lord Baylor? ...a frog. Hmm. So that's, that's kind of it. Exceptional blacksmith, Brom, who made your bow, and the Belder Reaver. He might be able to forge an even more powerful weapon. But Melvin sent him to the Netherworld while he was still alive. Fucking Melvin. Alive, can we bring him back from the Netherworld? A horrible idea. That world is so terrifying that not even Beldor would willingly go there. And Beldor is missing. Bringing Fucking Brom back is an impossible feat. Thanks, Melvin. He wants to go against the Demon Lord's Baylor. 
Frog! You're better now! I finally warmed back up. I nearly went into hibernation until the end of the world. Well, since I saved you, our kissing deal is off. But that's different. I never asked you to save me. You saved me on your own. You promised me a kiss. What? I shouldn't have saved you. Well then, as a reward, I'll tell you about Beldor. Beldor is one of three sorcerers known as the Three Wise Men. The three of them must be together right now, having a grand time. <laughs> I want to get the case. The they use as headquarters. Where is it? Titania's sewer system. How do you know this, Frog? One of the three sorcerers, Urza, turned me into this frog. Let us pardon Beldor's treason and ask him to help us. Send messengers to Titania. I don't think this is gonna work. That's probably not a good idea. So, so the frog is kind of the straight man here. Um, okay, so all ciphers. So the demon flail Baylor is this huge fucking sphere of cipher that Odin uses to beat people up. Even Brom, the finest little put cipher blacksmith, would fall through it forging a weapon so long. To Aesir, national undertaking. So they sp they put all of a country's resources to forging in the Odin's weapon. The dwarves uh, used to be the the, the dwarves uh, joined the fairies, except for a few of them who instead joined um, Odin at Ragnanival. So they're essentially their ex-countrymen, you know, building horrible weapons to kill their own countrymen. So not not so cool. Demon Lord's honeyed words. With their smithing expertise, the dwarves created a cipher unparalleled in power. Firstly, at the very long with the forbidden from smithing anything, and our furnaces were quenched. Hmm. So how will we defeat the Baylor? Odin is a huge asshole. So the game is called the Odin Sphere. Odin is arguably he's not necessarily the primary antagonist, but a lot of things are it's it's Odin's fault. You know? Like, if Odin had not been an asshole to his daughter, uh, the world probably wouldn't end. So, spoilers, the world... The world's not on a good trajectory right now. I'm just gonna let you guys know that. Just, you know, out, out and in, in the open, the world's not on a good trajectory. We may think we win... Some victories. Yeah, Odin's always an asshole, basically. The number of times Odin is not an asshole, very low. Let's, let's try this. I can't think of games where Odin's really your friend. I guess Shen Megami Tensei, because you can usually create an Odin uh, demon, but... Got a trophy there. All right, now we're in Titania. No one seems to care that we're the fairy princess you want to know about or the fairy three queen. Wise men. I used to listen to them once in a while. Wow, Tropius! I love Tropius. Years ago, he hid his status and worked for them as a servant. I let him help me out once in a while, too. But he deceived the wise men and stole the secrets of the jewels. The wise men were absolutely furious, but I was stunned. I mean, this was the boy who had been sweeping my floors. Well, you gotta give it to Odin. He did do work. He did do, do footwork. Fair enough. Odin's a friend of the Final Fantasy games. That is true. He usually tests your strength. The world before they die. 
For one thing, it's almost impossible to breathe that dismal and depressing air. <laughs> you think you know everything. Well, the, our frog friend has kind of proven his, his knowledge repeatedly. So I wouldn't... Another world. A system of caverns turns into a labyrinth that makes it impossible to navigate. It is said that even if someone makes a map, the queen erases it with a thought. So this this occurs before... But the demon lord knows of a path from this world into the netherworld. And that is why the queen of the dead holds him in such contempt. This occurs before the end of the Valkyrie storyline, because in the Valkyrie storyline... I've heard about you. My cousin's been spending time in your country. In the Valkyrie storyline, um, they killed death. Literally. So no one dies anymore. Whether or not that's a good thing, you know, that's a different question. <laughs> Arguably not a good thing in any way, shape, or form. But, you know, they do it. They kill death because the two teenagers really want to hug. So, hope it was worth it, teenagers. You killed death. Good job. Assholes. Queen Mercedes, I'm nervous. This is my first time visiting a human town. Eh, humans are fine. Well, not really, but... Okay, Puka, Puka Village. Pukas are our friends. Uh, and they, so the Pukas, um, they've been cursed to become these rabbit-like creatures, and the only way they can break their curse is if they gather all of the magic coins. And to that end, they've decided to become merchants extraordinaire and try and gather all of the coins. Um, With pleasure. So the coins have to be given normally through transactions or, or freely. They can't be, like, stolen. So by doing so, they, they're they hoping to regain their original human forms. Well, it was nice to have you here, son. I'll see you later, buddy. Will this be all for you? Okay, I am going to eat food, which causes my Pleasure. my shield to increase. <laughs> I'm killing Odin. Well, I won't kill Odin, but I will defeat Odin and his his, his Baylor cipher. But thank you, son. I appreciate it. Hopefully, it'll be on the replay if anyone's interested in watching. So. All right. Will this be all for you? Engaging in food porn increases our level. Thank you. As well it should. We have to go back to fighting. Fighting and killing. I love to kill. Oh, here's another guy. Talk to me, buddy. We don't see fairies often. If you're just visiting, buy a souvenir. <laughs> Boy, so in the air. So the frog status effect, HP decreases, damage increases up to max 20% up. Eh. All that is sufficiently in the eh state. I've got a lot of materials. I'm gonna sell several of these. The level two ones are only worth five. <laughs> Let me sell instead the level one, which are only worth two each. So you can, there's like ways to increase the grade, which is the number. Ooh, I have to see these. Show me, show me these. Versity ring. I don't want to be at low HP to rely on that, unfortunately. Ooh, money. Ooh, covers of the first three Crash games. I saw some of the Insane Trilogy fan covers. Those were, those were funny. They're kind of doing the... Uh, they're doing the Batman um, Arkham Asylum, or Arkham City, strategy where they just include way too much fucking text on it, and it looks really silly. But... Far be it for me to complain. I, I will likely buy and enjoy the Insane Trilogy. 
Let me be, let me go ahead and say that. I, the original Crash Bandicoot games, like the Naughty Dog guys, are really intelligent and insane. I don't know if you ever read the, the um, Andy Gavin's blog, but Andy Gavin, one of the original character creators of Crash, has a blog where he discusses way, um, the creation of, of Crash. How odd! These are great images, though, man. I wrote to the King of Titania about our impending visit. Why are we being led through these side streets and not directly to the palace? I wonder. One of the three wise men is the king's close aide. This these insult are, may be. Great. We are surely being tricked. Why would Beldor want to deceive me when I'm offering to pardon him? He feels no guilt, nor does he want your blessing. I think we should go back before we end up regretting our actions. I think Why he will understand if we speak to him. He was unwise. Very when he served my mother. But will he be honest? You doubt him too? Those are great images, son. You need to understand that not everybody is bent on serving or protecting you. You're mouthy for a frog. Why did you bother coming along, huh? <laughs> frog dissed. Damn. So the frog so far has been the only character because completely I'm on our sign. Completely on our side who is giving us reasonable advice. And Mercedes is not such a good good friend of the frog. Your Majesty! Matthew! No, Matthew! Alright, so big surprise, we've been betrayed. Oops. We should have listened to the frog. And the surprise here we set it with a, actually a mid boss, so. Let me go ahead and use some of my. Um. Numerous. Oh, he's gonna jump. Oh, I thought I dodged that, but I. Mercedes is a little different dodge. Her dodge is a little. There's like a wind up time to it, so it's kinda hard to get used to. But yeah, I, I like Mercedes' auto crossbow. <laughs> Kinda good. Reminds me of Final Fantasy VI, honestly, with the, the auto crossbow ability from Edgar. Very good. Oh, awesome knots. It's free to play. Isn't that kind of like a MOBA? I remember hearing that. I don't know. It's been really hard for me consistently to get into MOBAs. There's such a strange and different genre, I would say, that I, I... But, okay. I'll see you later, son. Let me know if you want to play um, Awesome Knots. I, I'd, I'd be willing to give it a try with you at some point, but... You know. I don't know. MOBA's not exactly my thing. But I, I could be convinced to give it a shot. Yeah... Oh, so you have read the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the Andy Gavin blog. The Andy Gavin blog is, is phenomenal. I love Andy Gavin. Very intelligent man. Part of one of the people who convinced me that the people, that the, the guys who work at, at Naughty Gog, not now, the, the guys and girls, I should say, are graphics wizards. You know, they're highly intelligent, pushing the boundary of what can be done on these consoles. So I, big respect to them. I have that element at first too, but I would give it a shot, man. I would, I, you know, any, any MOBA, I'll try once. I mean, the best MOBA of all time was Universal Monsters Online, and that has gone offline for good, unfortunately, but it was exactly what it sounds like. It was a game where you play as the Universal Movie Monsters in a MOBA, and that's phenomenal, but it's, it's gone now. No one played it. Alright, I'll see you later, man. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. As always, a lot of fun. Really, it really improves my enjoyment of the game when I have uh, you able to kind of comment alongside me. I appreciate it. Have a good one, son. Energy shot. Alright, what is this? 
penetrating magic bullet. That sounds good. No, it's 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 yeah. I'm I'm glad to stream. I'll try to do more streams that are non-story games, so we can kind of. I'm hoping that if we can segregate the story games from the non-story games, it makes it easier for people who want to follow just one or the other. We'll see. You know, we don't know until we try, right? That's what the the guy from uh, that's what the guy from Suikoden and Tierkreis says. But he says we don't know if we're we're not going to try because they apparently were paying him by the minute. So if you ever get a chance, it's uh, very interesting to listen to the recordings from that game. Anyway, have a good night. Oh, oops. I do want to absorb this butterfly. Well, no, I guess they were, they were, they were probably paying him by the word, because he says, we don't know if we're going to try. He basically says, like, he, he speaks with no spaces between his words. <laughs> so... It's it's very interesting if you ever played Speak and Tear Crease. Uh, oh, oops! I need to stop doing that. It is the weakest of the Speak in games. Well, no, it's not the weakest of the Speak in games. It's the weakest of games that I will call Speak it in. Let's put it that way. Uh, there is a certain game which I don't want to talk about. Um, it's listed in my <laughs> illegal things list on a. Um, on Twitch, it's Suikoden 4. Suikoden 4 is really bad. I don't like Suikoden 4. Not a, not a good game. But Suikoden Tear Crease, I will admit, it's a Suikoden game. It's just not every good one. Uh, Suikoden, interesting series. It's dead now, though. One of the many series killed by Konami. I would love to see a uh, Suikoden, um, Suikoden animated series for Netflix. That would be really cool, actually. I'm not sold on the concept of a uh, animated series for Castlevania, but maybe I'll be wrong. Yeah, no, no, the, the kid, he, they're clearly paying him, like, by the word or something, because he speaks every single word with no space between them. And it's not a bad game, it's not, just not a particularly Suikoden game. It doesn't really feel, like, they, they change a lot about the core Suikoden experience. And that's not, that's not necessarily bad, but it's just kind of frustrating, because it was, it was, the Suikoden series had really strong continuity, and, and, and Tear Crease is like only kind of tangentially related to the overarching storyline, and it was also the last one they made before Konami apparently pulled the plug, presumably to make um, a lot further down the line they're going to make presumably could in uh, patchy slots machines. That's where that's where all the money is now. It's not in video games; it's in the patchy slots um, from video games. At least according to Konami. The weird part being, by all accounts, the, the Metal Gear Solid patchy slots game is really fucking rare. And, um... Also not very good. Well, not very good as in, like, so patchy slots is, like, this completely surreal thing. Super Bunny Hop has a very good video describing the weird experience that, um... Patchy slots is Noki. Okay. Very well. Leave it to me. I really have to wonder what Jay's favorite uh, GameCube games are, though. Cause like, there are some really good games in the GameCube. GameCube was a fucking great system. Big fan of the cube. Very well. All right, so we're going to eat gnocchi. So the reason I'm eating each dish three times is you'll notice um, dishes that have this bonus flag next to them. So that is you get the bonus up to three times, um, and it decreases in amount. So after the third time, the third time being the smallest bonus, um, there's no more bonus for eating that dish. 
The, the benefit, though, to still eating it is sometimes there, there are specific dishes that if you eat the dish three times, it unlocks a new dish. So, for example, with Noki, you unlock the Noki tricolor. So, that's pretty good. You know, that's, that's certainly better than not having tricolor Noki. Wait. Let's do French onion soup. That's a little more EXP. So I need more cheese. As you wish. That's something I say all the fucking time in real life too. I love cheese. Cheese is one of the greatest foods in the world. The only problem with cheese is that it has too much uh, sodium in it. But I will gladly eat all of the sodium to enjoy cheese. I just have to be very careful about sodium for dietary reasons. Look at that. Lots of money. And an egg. Hard to beat an egg. I saw you in the forest. I love those guys. To meet my two little brothers. His flapping lips. Uh, keep on doing your thing, buddy. Keep on flapping those gums. Quiche Lorraine. Onion, cheese, egg. I can do this. Oh, okay, I have to buy again. So, onion, egg, cheese, excellent. Cheese is where I'm gonna spend a lot of my money. Maybe a bit of milk, too. I love this stuff because it increases your level at a very, you know, quote, efficient, unquote, um, way. Level being increased. What is this? Oh, secret area. I love secret areas. I also love regular areas. Boson Prism. Hell yeah. What is this? Ooh, an owl, man. You're going March. Turn Medjugorje's into the area to allies who fight for you for a time. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Fire your multiple bullets that chase foes. I like that. That sounds good. Let's let's look at my abilities here. Hunter shot. So, oh, that's that. Okay, that was a little underwhelming. So we'll summon our, our extremely tired but very faithful friend. I guess BP fell asleep because he's not watching. <laughs> but it is very it is extremely late for him, so it's I cannot blame him for that. Um I bought one milk, so let's make it worth it. What's the best use of milk? Hmm. Very well. Will that be all? Okay, quiche Lorraine. Well, let me finish the French onion soup. I love French onion soup, so you, you better believe I'm going to finish that. Okay, yogurt mousse. Bought a bunch of yogurt, so I'm going to finish this. As you wish. Is there anything else? Yeah, this should be the... I think this is the last yogurt mousse, but maybe there's one more. I have enough seeds to, to get some more eggs if I need to, though. Will that be all? I do. Okay. Um, what's a non-egg? They all take egg, don't they? This doesn't. So that uses up my onions. I don't really like using up all of something. For just, you know... For, for dumb reasons, really. I'm not gonna defend it. It's it's dumb. It's, it's completely arbitrary. I hate having... I mean, the way this game's inventory works doesn't really mean you have an in empty slot. Okay. Item box. Egg. So we will hatch the egg. 
here. And we will drop the seeds. Oh. Should be quite a few seeds. Or quite a few eggs. And the chicken too. The chicken is always nice. Come on. I hate how long this takes. So he levels up now. Yep. So one, two, three, egg. One, two, three, egg. One, two. So I need to put another egg out. So let's do that. Egg. Yep. Okay. Dead. Chicken. My fast flying. Fly back here. Talk to Mori, my boy, who works for no pay. What a G. He just likes to cook. A lot. Big fan of cooking. Smothered chicken. Chicken out gratin. Okay, so we'll finish off the yogurt mousse. We'll start doing some yogurt fruit mousse, I guess. Well, we'll, we'll take a look at the options. So there's yogurt. Will that be all? Fruit mousse and cheesecake. I don't have much cheese. I can make t one of these. Well, I can make two of these because I probably have enough seeds to grow another um, of these guys. Pancakes, milk and eggs. Don't have much milk. Turny crepes. Uh, French onion soup. I just hate ending up with zero of a mandragora. So I'll make chicken au gratin. That sounds delicious, actually. I just had I had salmon for dinner. I love salmon. I don't really like seafood as much, but I, I'm warming up to it. So I love um, clam chowder, delicious. Lobster bisque, also delicious. But... Ooh, salmon and good salmon is phenomenal. And Costco has this like pre-cooked salmon that you can just buy and then um well pre-marinated salmon I should say that you can just buy and then cook. And oh my god, it is fucking delicious. Love Costco. It's not cheap. Thank you very but it's cheaper than getting like nice salmon at a nice restaurant. So it works out for, for me, really. The only one who matters. Me! No, I'm not I'm not that quite that self-absorbed. Okay, mid-boss. Ooh, it's this guy. Oh. Yeah, so this guy is the slime boy. Kinda hard to deal with. So I'm going to make liberal use of my um, numerous items, because I have way too many. Don't use them anywhere near enough. I have two, so let's use a cyclone. So, boom. Get sent flying by me, Adolf Hitler, me, two Hitlers. So these guys continually split. Oh. Oh, I have no idea what she's saying, by the way. It sounds almost like she's saying you're too slow, but she's not Sonic the Hedgehog, so I don't... Can't imagine why she's saying that. I'm like, why would you say that unless you were Sonic the Hedgehog? In in 
Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And I, I cannot think of a single reason to say that. Aside from that very specific use case. Oh, shit. This guy just takes a while to kill, because he's, he's he keeps splitting. And it's really annoying. Oh. Ugh. I'm just gonna kill him. We do have a lot of time. The par to kill him is still 25 seconds away. Okay, like, what is she saying if not you're too slow, though? It's like, ear two, it's like, ear two's go, or something. You need an ear to go? I know how to help you if you do. I also don't know why you would need that. Can't imagine any possible use case. <sighs> okay. Toxin and cheese now. We will battle to the death for cheese. I've done that once or twice. You know, a good sharp cheddar. I am I I will kill for that. I I I'm not too proud to admit it. Cool. Cool beans. And a grape seed or two. Oh, my cat is meowing at me. Meow. Meow. Cat, what's the what's the matter? Alright. I didn't mean to meow like that, but what's the matter? What's the matter, cat? Sorry, I'm just I'm being witty without even realizing it, or you know, not witty, stupid. All right. Cool. Oh. You better believe I'm taking a free habanero still. Okay, this is going to be a trial area, which means that there's going to be probably a difficult mini boss or two mini bosses. Trial stage. Yeah. So, uh, it looks like they went with the two mini bosses. That's fine. I know how to deal with this, and it involves alchemy. Alright, I gotta keep the alchemy rolling because we have a ton of fucking alchemy potions. And we're getting even more from this because they both drop alchemy potions. Bad choice because that kind of makes us too easy. Like, look at this, I'm just burning them to pieces. Oh, hold on, one of my cats is going nuts over the, um, salmon, the wrapper I used for the salmon. <sighs> Callie, don't do that. Please. Please don't do that, Callie. I'd appreciate it if you don't. Man, I'm looking at that Crash Bandicoot picture again. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> what a handsome, self-assured, cocky motherfucker. Crash Bandicoot did nothing wrong. Let me just go ahead and say that. Oh, low pow. You'll notice this is a pretty repetitive boss fight. And uh, that's accurate. 
There, I killed both of them. Easily got an S rank. Mercedes. Very strange, but... Well, not strange, very interesting character. Um, once you get the hang of her, though, I think she's one of the more straightforward ones to play. It's... So, the other characters can really wade into the battle and just start beating the shit out of people. Mercedes, you have to kind of hang back a bit, but as a result, you also get to beat the shit out of people in copious amounts. So you don't really lose too much. You just have to fight differently. Which is, is probably, to be fair, a good thing. Like, it's good that all the characters don't play the exact same. So it's good that, you know, Mercedes has her own challenges that she, she faces. Because if all the characters were the same, that would just be more boring. And that's, you know, arguably one of the problems with Destiny 2, is it was looking like a lot of the characters are going to be the, the same. Like, there are a lot of the, the super abilities, which kind of gave the classes their distinctiveness, are becoming the same. So they're being changed to be, you know, directly comparable to one another, to become presumably easier to balance. Which I, I certainly understand and am somewhat sympathetic to, but at the same time, I would prefer things being not perfectly balanced if that meant we got more interesting and unique ideas, I guess I would say. Rather than a lot of things that follow a formula, which is seeming to be... Let me just eat this. Because you get, you, you get more base health for eating it. So, it's, it's worth doing. Cheese. Material, we're full of materials, but we can go to our rest stop. So we have to be almost done with this level. We will immediately summon our, our good pal, Mori, the touring man. Mori, a bit like Anthony Bourdain. Welcome. In parts unknown. Except it's really just parts known that people don't want to go to. Yeah, I'll do that. As you That's gonna get me a level up. For sure. 29. Alright, we're done with that. Quiche Lorraine. Okay, I need to for sure get more egg. So we have a lot of stuff in our bag. Let's see what we can do for egg. Egg is this one. Okay. Great. Let's see what we get out of this. I think we'll get two eggs. Maybe a little under two. I can always sacrifice a few more. It's nice because these are seeds that I would otherwise probably lose, you know. Makes no sense to... Two more, okay. Let's do three. Sure. Now then. I have to wonder, so there are definitely, okay, so in, unless pukas are sterile, which has not been established, I should point out, uh, there are definitely people who are born as puka. So what would happen when the, when the puka curse is broken? Would they revert to human, even though they've never been human before? That's just, just just an open question. That's, you know, no one really knows. Fruit and moose. Sure, let's do that. Very well. Difficult to know what exactly the right foods are to make. I'm sure there's a game FAQ's guide if it's somewhere of, of the optimal at every step. But... 
I'm not super interested in that. So we'll just we'll finish this. I think I have this key. Looks like it. We will figure out what secret treasure is hidden here. Surely be completely worth it. No way will I regret it. I can't carry any more tourney. I already regret it. There I ate my tourney. Fuck tourneys. Oh. That was a little overkill. Oh, damn it. Alright, that's not too bad. I shouldn't have taken damage there, it was my own fault. I wasted. Pow. PP, sorry. Uh, yogurt. Milk material. Okay, so I gotta remember that. So, turn my. I can save a lot of material that way. Or I can save a lot of money that way. By intelligently using materials. Power Stone plus Uno. I love Power Stone. Good game series. Shame it's dead. Equipment. Power Stone. Ooh. Let's do that. Okay. So we will go to the boss stage now, and I think that's going to be it for tonight. Because we seem to be a little dipping on the viewership. And I think this is a pretty good stopping point. After the final boss of Chapter 4, Mercedes, we've gone through half of her stage already. Half of her levels, I should say. We're making a pretty good clip Your through this majesty. game. Let's make a uh -oh. deal, Beldor. As my messengers informed you, I will pardon your crimes on some conditions. Release Matthew, and show me your route to the Netherworld. Queen Mercedes, your courage, ambitious nature, and your purity are virtues. Yep, you are they sure are. Your leader. God damn. You are reckless, inattentive, and prone to being deceived. Yeah, so you won't I can't me? argue with any of those, really. It is not a bad idea to have the Demon Lord and the fairies wipe each other out. But I have another mission I must attend to. But until oh. then, let me provide a little more chaos and confusion to Ringford. Let's hear your true name. Hold it. Move, and the dwarf dies. What is this? Come, Belial. Oh, Belial again. Follow this little fairy. Is this the same guy controlling Belial What's again? Wrong. Nope. Don't you understand? You cannot resist me. How can you oh. force someone to serve you? Tis an honor for a dragon to be enslaved to a wise man. Yeah, I don't think I that's the case. I will continue to keep your heart bound with magic. So dragons fucking hate you mortals, and this is this is part of the reason why. Go, fool! How dare you defy me? I retract my offer. I no longer plan to pardon you. Good. This is a better end. I concur. Uh, useless oaf. Belial. Do not worry about me. I cared for humans, and this is my fate. Worry not, fairy. I won't let him get away. Baldor! Okay. So we don't fight Belial again. Good. So, Scaldi hasn't returned from the Inferno King's home. 
and Urza seems busy dealing with the King of Titania. I'm lucky you're split up. How dare you, frog! Aha! Ursa ordered you here, correct? The enemy will soon be here! Here she comes! The evil fairy who cursed this kingdom! Stop right there! Hmm. We align ourselves with our frog friend, Beldor. So we finally get to fight a fucking sorcerer. About time, given how much pain and suffering these guys have caused in the narrative. All right, let's toss um, Cyclone out there. Oh, I'm a frog now. I can still do a lot of damage, though. But let's do this metamorphosis. Antidote, healing, shine, blaze. Mix. Look up. What's metamorphosis? So that takes... Ugh. Can't do that. This isn't too bad. I mean, we still seem to get most of our attack. Oh, there we are. Damn it. Shoot. Stupid on my part. Point out, this, this is like a, a, a punishment to the security agencies, like being turned into a frog. Um, doesn't really seem to be hurting my ability to, you know, do things in game. So I don't know. Maybe Innocent needs to, to balance their their frog transformation a little better. He is almost dead. They fundamentally don't understand what, what our product offers. I mean, I see a lot of this year too slow. Sh oh, I need to actually hitting the button, sorry. Too busy, torn up about something.
Oh shit. Yay. Dead. Whew. All right, I think this is going to be the end for tonight. Prepare but yourself, Bella. We'll save next chance we get. <laughs> oh, damn. I can't let you do that. Hell yeah. How's that, sorcerer? You'll never be able to use that magic now. Hell yeah. It is the Puka's curse. You will never be human. What? Your Valentine? Ah, so this is Ingwe. I, I think I overdid it. But even as a frog, I managed to cast that. Frog? That skinny rabbit there is Belda's final form. And with this, I am done. Now Kiss him! Before he wakes up. Look at you! The sorcerer is defeated. Good work, Queen. Be careful, I could still poison you. Wait. Yep. Queen Mercedes. Thank you. Y you're... I'm the Prince of Valentine. She's all blushing Although now. I'm finally able to show you my true form. I must bid you farewell. Man. What? What a twist. But wait! I... I... I can't succeed without you! You're here for revenge? What? Well, of course. You have duties as a queen. I have my own duties as well. So we see we're in the timeline where this I occurs want to now. You, but I cannot grant that wish. You're still indecisive, but you will be a good queen. That reminds me, you should go on alone. I don't even know your name. Ingwe. I am Ingwe. We shall meet again. Ingwe. Ingwe is kind of a weirdo, but he's also not necessarily a bad guy. Kind of an interesting character. So he clearly uh, causes some trouble for our pal uh, Cornelius. As we saw last story, however. Ingwe himself also, um, through his actions, well, I guess I shouldn't say too much, right? But through his actions, certain good eventualities come about. Let's put it that way. So, okay, I'm going to save, and we're going to end this for tonight. Thanks for watching, everyone. Or on um, replay if you are. So, all right, I will see you later. Good night, everyone. Adieu.